Hi Pisces, this is Crystal Rose of Comfy Soul and I'm here to do your reading. So today I'm going to start with the Golden Girls Tarot. Ba -bam! Um, <laughs> I was gifted this and I'm very excited. Thank you, Amanda. Um, links will down, be down below if you want to purchase any of these decks. I'm going to finish your reading with The Answer is Simple by Sonia Choquette. Very cute little cards. They make life easy. Let me see what shows up at the bottom as I split the deck. Reaching out. And there's a little baby there. We'll come back to this later. So you need to reach out to someone. Nurture somebody. You're, you're, yeah. That's what it feels like. A little love. A little pick-me-up. A little, hey, I miss you. Where are you? Okay. Okay. All right, let's shuffle up a guess. The Golden Girls. So I'm going to do three rows today. We're going to do something a little different. And I'm going to start with career, then love, and then money. So I'm going to tell you right now that the money row is definitely going to tie together career and love because those things always come together. And that will be the shadow work or the positive work that's being done. It'll just let you know what has to happen in order to tie everything together, okay? So let's see here. Oh, wow. <laughs> as soon as I get to career, I see you bossing up. Somebody's taking charge. Um, Emperor is somebody who is, uh, I mean, to sum it up, taking charge, being the boss, like making, taking decisive action for the group, the collective, the, the one who's going to take charge and lead the way. This is a very like fatherly energy. This is someone who is, um, <laughs> I love this. I love it. Some Someone who's doing what they love. Somebody whose heart has opened up. Okay. I totally see that you guys are not remotely too focused on career so much. <laughs> um, there's a little bit there. But let me tell you what I'm saying. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because I did six cards. On the last one I did. So let me put six down for these other two rows so I can see this all in one shot. Otherwise, this ends up being one of those readings where you skip to the last couple sections just to get like a heads up. Well, I don't really read that way where I go, hmm, what's this? What's this? What's this? And then pull it together at the end. It's more like, yeah, there's a little of that, but also it's describing the feelings. It's it's getting in your head. It's hearing from your grandma if she comes through, right? So, um, let's see here. Okay, now, and then one for the end, they told me. Ooh, I likey, I likey. Okay. Career, love, money. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, for your career. Definitely bossing up, taking charge, in control, and following your heart and your feelings after something that floats your boat. Doing something you love, um, opening up to your options. I feel like this might be giving you some ideas about something you could be doing because here you are in fantasy land questioning. Could I do this? Would I make money? Um, can I change careers? Uh, can I move? To, to do that thing. I don't know where that came from. That just showed up in my head. Um, so maybe you're thinking you might have to. Let me say that what's coming up for you passion-wise is what you're being called to focus on regarding career. What makes you excited? What feels like adventure? What's going to light you up? Because here you are trusting your intuition downloading that information, following that, but there's some kind of perspective you're trying to get to, and I think that it requires some action on your part. So here you are as the hermit, here's Betty White, and lately when I've been doing uh, private readings, um, I've been using this example of wherever you shine your flashlight, 
is what you're going to be focused on. So you can have a room full of things, but whatever your flashlight is focused on is the, the, the things you're going to see, right? Even though there is a room full of stuff, you can't deny that there are other things in the room. If you wanted to refocus your light, your energy, your attention on some other part of the room, you will see there are other things there, other options there, other, other, just other. So where you focus your energy will take you out of fantasy land and put you on the right track. So now you have to surrender to choosing a path, to sitting in the perspective that you can't be successful doing a bunch of different things. You can eventually, but in the beginning, you need to be able to choose one passion, one niche, one adventure, one problem to solve. Go down that road, then you will create other products, other lessons, other opportunities, other lines of business, other things after that later. So here you are as the king of wands following your passion and adventure, but notice he's got one wand. He's focused in one direction, okay? So focus your energy and take charge in a very strong, structured, authoritative way as the emperor, but doing something you love, okay? You have all these options, but you really need to pick with one thing. Now, that same message applies to love because I see you hoarding your energy. Five of Pentacles. So when they show Blanche... <laughs> Blanche is the type that would get a sugar daddy <laughs> to take care of her or be very worried about her home. She was the homeowner and wanted to make sure everybody paid the rent on time and that the men that came paid for her dinner and this and that. So this is someone who was afraid that she wasn't going to be stable or be taken care of, right? This is Blanche energy that you have in love. Spirit needs you to end that. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. That thought process needs to end. It needs to end because if you want to get into your emotions, you need to really think about how, take a good rest about how you, okay, take what I just said about the, um, the career path, right? So removing that hoarding energy and taking charge of your situation also in love. But in this form, we have swords. This is communication. This is speaking a truth. You've been chilling, sitting back, trying to manifest or receive love like the lazy way without you actually speaking up or speaking your truth or saying something. So I'm going to tie this back to career for a second. If you want to love the thing that you're doing and focused on, speak up. So speak up in love if you have something to say. Here you are resting by yourself, but you're by yourself. You don't want to be by yourself. I can see that because here you are standing up for what matters in the next card. There's Sophia. I, I cannot remember why she's in a pirate costume. Um, they're telling me to go ahead and look it up. So let me look it up. I'm sure it'll say online somewhere. Um... Golden Girls episode, Sophia, pirate costume. Let us pray. Oh, it's quite a thing. Let's see, what was this episode? The Days and Nights of Sophia. Okay. Is this it? I think this is the episode. It's on IMDb. Okay. Um, <laughs> While Dorothy, Rose, and Blanche sit around and feel like their lives are boring, Sophia goes out and fights with the grocery store <laughs> over a nectarine and a piece of meat, conducts a jazz band made up of old ladies and volunteers at the hospital. So this is Sophia going buck wild. Um, to anybody that it matters, the date that it episode was October 22nd, 1988. I feel that time or that date or that year might be significant for some of you. Um, if that resonates, please tell me how that resonates in the comments below. I'm curious. Um, 
there you have it. So that was it. She went crazy. She went off. She went buck wild. All right. So <laughs> this is really funny. Let me see if anything else pops up about that that I need to know. Um, <laughs> just for fun, you might like to know that Google also says people ask, is the Golden Girls a good cosplay for Comic-Con? I would say yes. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let me make sure it's not this episode because there's another one. There's another one here. I don't really think it matters. The point is Sophia went crazy. And that's all you need to know. But like in a good way, she, she stood up, right? Okay, I see another one where Sophia's breaking free. And then what is this last one they're describing? Breaking free from a, a rest home that wasn't as good as Shady Pines. And then this episode... Oh no, that's just people dressing up as the Golden Girls. Okay, all right, the point was made. There you have it. And there's lots of wonderful Sophia costumes if you ever want to channel your inner Sophia. <laughs> okay, so funny. This is really cute, actually. I like the Sophia energy for you guys because it's showing um, a playfulness, a desire to stand up for yourself. Um, and even though you might feel small at times, that you're really the bigger one of the group. You're the bigger energy, despite how small you might be feeling. All right, let's continue. So, Page of Pentacles, here's something new you can start in love. So I really do feel it's you standing up for what's right. You might be on vacation mode right now. You might be out, you know, traveling for the holidays or chilling at your, you know, your vacation house or what have you. But it's judgment time, and I think you know that it's time to, like, Get this divorce, go for the new thing, you know, stand up for what matters. Um, just really say and do the right thing is, is what you're being called out to do by spirit. Okay, let's continue. Um, what did I say the last row was? Career, love, money. Money. And then what shows up right off the bat? Nine of Pentacles. So this is where you're at now. You're sitting pretty. You have more than you need. You're quite contented and actually a little overindulgent with yourself. Totally enjoying your space. Um, okay, so you got money. Great. Fabulous. You also have a couple of rough... You, you're so back and forth with this. So on one hand, you're like, yay, money. And I have a beginning love offer, but I don't see you doing something with it. It's just like... Yeah, I'm a little contented with the fact that I have money, but also I have this love that I would like to start. The problem is you feel trapped. So what I'm getting from this is you are, it totally will not move for love <laughs> because you're hanging on to your money. So you're staying in the same situation because you're afraid to let go of money. Um, it's leaving you feeling victimized and trapped. I want you to know, Spirit wants you to know, that you are the Queen of Pentacles, that money follows you where you feel happy and safe at home. But you have to feel happy, nurtured, loved, and you are at a beginning stage of learning that. I say beginning stage because of the Page of Cups. That's just learning how to receive money in an emotional way, not in a hoarding material way, right? Money greatly flows when you're focused on giving and receiving and reciprocity and love and doing the right thing by people. Very, very easily flows. But we have the deception card here. So here you are hanging on to your happy home space, but also you're lying to yourself. You're lying to your spouse. You're lying to the person you left behind or whatever it is that you're avoiding who you're actually in love with um, is affecting your money. So you're like, I do have a good beginning with something. I also have invested in something that's paying out now. But in the end, you need to ask yourself, what am I going to do with passion and adventure? 
This is the King of Wands energy that is the overall energy of your entire reading. So, and who is this? This is, um, I believe, this is Rose's ex-husband, new boyfriend. I can't remember where this guy comes in. But he's someone who provides love. He brings love into the house. He's one of their, um, I think it's Rose's new person because her husband passed away a long time prior to that. Um, so this is Rose's man that came in to love her and show her there is love after losing a previous partner, right? So this is the overall theme of your reading is moving on to something that makes you feel passionate and happy and adventurous. Let me take an overall glance. You're tied to something now financially that is making you feel very like a liar, masking the truth and living like a victim you are literally not wanting to look at the other situation where you're actually seeing a new opportunity for love and happiness because you don't want to deal with it you don't want to lo lose money so i encourage you to humble yourself and um really take a look at what matters more money or love that's the question you're being posed in front of you um because obviously you're not having both because in your love row you're hoarding big time and you're very lonely here you are by yourself and it looks like you're letting something go death card you want to let go but you need to finish it judgment card this is like divorces splitting the money doing the whole thing you do see an opportunity for a new beginning but you gotta act on it okay let's get you some advice from the answer is simple and then i will drop it um, make yourself really, really happy though. I mean, you're, you, I see you taking charge. It is in the career path for you, but you're kind of overthinking a little bit. Um, how successful that actually is going to be versus what you're thinking right now. Let me put it that way. Okay. Advice. Turn on the light. I went to a party Saturday and the theme from one of our little conversations was turn on your heart light, <laughs> Neil Diamond. Um, and it keeps coming up. I keep hearing different forms of this. So um, turn on the light, follow spirit, follow that love, follow the new adventure. There is a vast canyon of opportunity there available for you, but you have to bridge the gap. This is a per couple getting married and standing on top of the world. Um, they're telling me to grab one more for you because they want it specifically to talk about that couple holding hands, riding off into the sunset, just the two of them, right? Just the two of us. They told me to grab the one that fell out down here. Let's see. Aw, calling your spirit home. This is a new home, a new foundation, but doing it in a soulful way, honoring your soul, your purpose, your love, where you actually want to be, what makes you happy, not what you feel obligated to do to keep your stability. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I think that's enough, but I see you thinking in the right direction. You just need the action now. Okay, go you, make it happen. Hut, hut. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Please hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified of when the next video is coming out. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. I really, really appreciate when you guys um, refer me for readings or refer people to watch the channel. I think it's really kind of you, and it keeps me going, and I know that you appreciate these readings when you do that. So thank you so much for showing up. I appreciate you. See you guys next time. Okay, bye.